Okay, so I just wanted to remind us that we're dealing with um, the outcome of structurally and systemically racist policies. And so it's important to remember that even in 2017, we're still dealing with those issues. And it's important that as we continue to plan on ways to move forward and transform, that we don't forget that, that racism and um, other isms are still a part of the fabric that we exist in within society. And so it's gonna be so important that as we move forward with these conversations, that we become very truthful and transparent about the assumptions and biases that we hold individually and collectively and start to have these conversations within our homes, within our workspaces, within, within our private and public spaces. And so it's so important to understand that even though we talk about history as something back then, we're still dealing with the remnants today. And it's important to understand that we have to make sure that we address appropriately the biases and stereotypical assumptions that we make about certain populations that have continued the demise and the insidious nature of the public housing communities that we see and live in. I grew up in one in Hillside Court, Richmond, Virginia, and I can't tell you even as a child the impact that it had on me perceiving that others perceived me and us in a certain way, where we were not a part of this type of conversation and dialogue, but we were not a part of the city. So it's so imperative, I think, that we make sure that we check ourselves and check each other and check our structures and policies and systems to ensure that we're making, making sure that our people, our families, our children are really at the center. It's important that we say it, but sometimes it's often rhetoric. And so I really want us to, to, to embrace the fact that we have to make it real. So I'm a student at VCU and I'm using our slogan, make it real. Um, and so it, it's really, really important um, on a very serious note that we make sure we really do check ourselves to have important dialogue about the biases and assumptions that we make about each other ones that are not like ourselves, ones that are different, people who live in different communities, and understand that it's all about humanity, and when one succeeds, we all should succeed. Thank you.